time for our third video where we're going to be talking about Asians in the media. So, question number one. Do you feel satisfied with the way that Asians are portrayed in the media today? Mm. Well, no. I don't feel like Asians are actually portrayed very often in the media. Mm -hmm. And often when they are, they're pretty stereotyped. Mm -hmm. um, feel free to include examples. Like, well there's still only one Asian show I can think of that's fresh off the boat mm -hmm. right now. And then before, for a while, there was that Margaret Cho show. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know. I, I mean, it's, it's just rare examples of when the Asians do get snuck in there. Um, and now there's that crazy rich Asians. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, it's hard not to feel like they're stereotyping people even mm -hmm. then. Um, but I guess that's the closest that we've gotten to like a sort of more normal sort of sitcom sort of family situation. Mm -hmm. And I guess yeah. people can relate to that just in general, even if they are culture. Um, I still think, yeah, they are still like stereotypes. You know, like the Asians pushing their children and to get perfect grades and things like that. Yeah. Or running convenience stores and laundries mm -hmm. or restaurants. Alright, our next question. Which character or movie or TV show do you feel you've been able to relate to the most? Character in a TV show? Yeah. Played by an Asian person? Yes. Hmm. Oh, they asked you for a character really to play by a white person. It's about Asians in the media. <laughs> oh, boy. The most. You don't necessarily have to relate to them that much, but. All I can just running through my head is like Mickey Rooney playing an Asian in. <laughs> The ugly dachshund. <laughs> yes, because you relate to Mickey Rooney the most. Okay. Being offensive, being so offended that a non-Asian person is playing an Asian person. Um, an Asian person. Mm -hmm. That's a tough one because there aren't that many Asians. Mm -hmm. There's Mako, who's like the token Asian actor that was out there. Um, Pat Morita. Jan Young Hero that was on the news. She was on a talk show. Mm -hmm. um, Connie Chung. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's, 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 uh, there's not a whole lot mm -hmm. representing the Asians. Mm -hmm. I can think of. And you're not like the mom who's fresh off the boat. I am not like the mom who's fresh off the boat. You use the dishwasher. For actually washing dishes. Yeah. She uses it as storage. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, we can move on to the next question then. Mostly because my child is not like the typical Asian child. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Well, I mean, you're self-determined, but I don't feel like you're uh, being yourself up, trying to be like perfect or anything. No. So, but I mean, also you're, like you're a, not like Tiger Mom. That's like well, even if I was Tiger Mom, I don't. <laughs> you would be resistant to that. Okay. If I was going to be that way, but I'm not that way. Okay. But even if I were, then I don't think you would have, you would have negatively reacted to that. Mm -hmm. So I just let you go with wherever you are. <laughs> Whatever I am. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I let you be you. All right. Okay. Our next question. This is a two-parter, and we kind of got into it a little bit already. All right. 
So, what are your thoughts on whitewashing? And also on actors being cast to play a different ethnicity of Asian from what they are. So like, we kind of talked about this the other day with Crazy Rich Asians coming out and how there's all the like uproar about it because most of the actors that are in it aren't actually, you know, from Singapore, that don't have the exact same like ethnic and background and everything as the characters that they're playing. Yeah, that doesn't bother me as mm -hmm. much. I guess just because the pool that they have to choose from is, I don't know, maybe it's not as diverse as mm -hmm. it could be for actually specifically casting for every certain race. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I guess I can see that out of necessity or they might do that. Yeah, What's whitewashing? Scarlett Johansson is a great oh. example. Oh, Mickey Rooney could also be, but that's not quite the yeah, same. Yeah, I don't understand why they have to do that with a white person in an Asian story, where the character was Asian, they would be playing Asians out there. Like, Oh, and like there's so many white characters out there already too. It's yeah. like you don't need more white people. Well, especially if it was a manga character, why manga? Why would they not be Asian? I mean, white people can't be anime characters. <laughs> no, but that's where it originates. I guess. Yeah. All right. What types of Asian narratives would you like to see? Asian narratives? Yeah. Asian stories, or <sighs> characters, or... I don't know, I guess just people that are just seen as human beings and mm -hmm. just being seen for, just being seen as human beings and not just as, you know, an example of that race or type. Well, my thing with that is, what I would like to see is less ca like cases where I feel like a lot of the Asian characters are either first generation or second generation, and then being second generation is like a huge part of their character and their story. So, like, you know, like yeah, fresh off the boat, like fresh off the boat is great and everything, but you know, it's the story of this recent immigrant family. And I feel like there aren't very many cases where we have Asian characters where, yeah, they're like third or fourth generation like us, where it's like there's, you know, assimilated. still, yeah, they're similar, they still have that Asian identity, but mm -hmm. like their whole story is not, we just came to America. Yeah. So, more focus on the American part of Asian Americans. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything else that you would like to add? about this question or anything else about Asians in the media. Mm. And I just went into my head about bananas. Like, bananas like yellow on the outside, white on the inside, or just like... Yeah. Okay. But, um... Yeah. But I don't, I don't know. Am I a banana? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'd say you are. Well, I'm probably more Japanese than a lot of Japanese people my age. I mean, we, like, yeah, our family but still then, does, like, a lot of cultural stuff, but I don't know. But then I guess going to Japan made me really feel like I was an American. Yeah. But I feel like compared to some of the Asian moms that, like, I grew up with, of, like, you know, other kids that were in my class and stuff, like, in comparison to them, yeah, I'd say you were a banana. Oh. Since you weren't the tiger mom and... Oh. Well, I thought our, our family's You pretty, majored in art? <laughs> I thought our family's pretty, um... We I mean, still practice a lot of the cultural things. Mm -hmm. And... I mean, I don't speak Japanese fluently, but... You know, I do know a little bit here and there, so I do feel like I know some things about our culture. Mm -hmm. But um, the 
yeah, going to Japan really made me feel more like I was really an American after all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you for participating. You're welcome. <laughs>